Can I have the dreadnought back, please, Jeannie? Can I have it? Can I? Please? Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this painting breakdown of this Le of this of this of this Legio Custodes or Custodes Telemon Dreadnought. Yeah, that's it, Telemon. Telephone, Telemon. I can't remember what they call it. So uh, I've had a few people ask me on Instagram, how do you paint it thusly? Um, I'm not very good at explaining these things, but I'll uh, tell you what I did. We began by uh, spray painting him with the old black undercoat. Um, and after that, I believe, no, I know that I sprayed it again with the Retributor gold aerosol can and hosed him down with that, made sure you got all underneath and uh, all over, because he's got a lot of little nooks and crannies in there which you want to fill up. And uh, to finish the gold off, I think I gave it two washes uh, of the same mix, which were, looking at my filthy, filthy paint rack, a mix of Agrath, Ag Agrax Earth, Earthshade, oh my dears, and uh, Drucky or Druchy Violet, so I believe it was two to one of the purple, and uh, you know, uh, two purple, one part Agrax. Yep, that was it. And then uh, dumped two uh, heavy washes of that on the on the uh, dreadnought here. Uh, that darkens it down a fair bit. Why is my focus gone? There it is. It's come back. And uh, after that, we got our trusty, which we cannot see anywhere. Here he is hiding up. This is an old filthy pot with bugger all left in there some more Retributor armor, and then we gave him a light, light dry brush with that. You have to be careful that you don't take off all your shading again. It's a funny old thing. It's hard to get right your uh, dry brush in with gold over your shading. Too much and you just basically repainted it. Too little and it does sweet FA. So yeah, after that, I've done the Retributor gold and then I believe, can't remember now. I think, yeah, I gave it a little glaze with Seraphim Sepia and painted that all over as if it was a paint and that gives you a bit of richness back to the gold. And then after that, I did a mix of Retributor Armor and this will do, which is exactly the same as the silver I used. Model Air Chrome there. I believe they use Game Air Silver, but to me they're the same paint. Did a little mix of that and did it a gave it a very, very light dry brush of that. And I think that's it. There was nothing special, nothing hard. Uh, yeah, and that'll do, that'll do with the gold. And uh, oh, no, it won't. I'm telling a fib again. I uh, gave it some verdigris, just a little bit. And uh, I know a lot of people say you do realise that gold doesn't have verdigris like that. I have no idea. I'm not an expert, but I thought it looked nice. And for that, I think we used not that one. Oh, where's that gone? That has gone AWOL. It was Vallejo Blue Green. Uh, is that him in there? There he is. Vallejo Model Colour Blue Green, yeah. Watered that down a fair bit and painted that in a few recesses. It's hard again. Try not to go mad with that stuff or you'll overdo it. If I went on a bit too heavy, I'd sort of smudge it off with my thumb again. And then it was uh, the reds. One of my favorite things to paint. Uh, just started off with black and slowly worked up through to Mephiston red, I believe. And a little orange highlight on the edges, which you can't see very well on the camera and then all I did after that was the silvers which are oh dear drunk uh, which are just as easy as you imagine you can do those in any way and then baste them oh and then stuck some decals on using the old tried and tested microsol microset technique so yeah that's pretty much it 
did my standard basing for this army, which is just black dry brushed with gray, washed and then a lighter gray over the top. But yeah, all in all, I'm very happy with how this model came out. I was a bit concerned to begin with, but in the end, I think it's pretty good. And uh, I guess it really is up to the world to decide, not me. But please let me know what you think. And uh, we'll have some more models for you soon. So please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you find any of this of any interest to you at all. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.